Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Oddly enough, the Thievius Raccoonus is actually the booklet manual for the game. Okay, when the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I don't know if I want him having my home movies. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go there yet. Murray's too busy eating the talk. And that's my only three options. Let's see if he has anything for me. Just that one movie, huh? Let's see if he wants to share his food. Oh! Do you want... One? <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. That's all he has to say, huh? already plotted a... Okay, I guess it's time to start our first mission. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay, so we got a robotic frog who used to be a pirate. The Tide of Terror. And hopefully in this game, unlike in Rocket Robot on Wheels, hopefully we now have boss fights. A stealthy approach with three little icons in the bottom right. I'm assuming those are things we need to find. Well, as long as it, there is no sign that says keep out, I can enter, right? I mean, it's not like I'm being warned anymore. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout! No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. 
Well, at least Sly knows what he's doing. Too bad I don't. Okay, I'm not going anywhere near that guy. He's got a big old hammer. I am curious about these little things right here, though. Hey, maybe I can kill him this way. Okay, maybe not. What else can I break? I'm gonna find some way to get around this guy. Let's keep going that way. Good. Wow, really? One hit kill. Kinda easy. Is there any way to get over there without drowning? Probably not. So never mind. Okay, so each level looks like we have 20 little clues to find. Messages in a bottle. I am missing all these coins too, that's terrible. Get it. Can I break that? Nope. Okay, well before we go across the gate, I want to make sure we get everything around here. Private. Not no more. Hey, there's something. He's starting to be like a real raccoon now. Okay, 11 more. Are we ready to drop down? I don't see any more little clues, so... Yeah, sure. Down we go. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. It's pretty cool. Now, I am kind of worried by the fact that a simple light can cause me combust. I didn't know raccoons were that sensitive to light. No, I'm going to wait for it to go around again. There we go. Don't touch the light. Don't need to quote unquote combust. Oh no! What is this guy's deal? He's throwing starfish at me. Whoa! See, I think I've read that in this game, you only have one hit and you're dead. You don't really have a health meter. So you really need to be on the lookout the entire time. Okay, our first checkpoint. Easy enough. Those bees worry me, though. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. He probably wants good cover. Oh, you can actually kill the bees. Nice. Now, what happens when you get 100 coins? Two more, huh? I can probably go down there, can't I? Whoa, no, 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 no. Damn it. Walk up the ledge. Pull the wily coyote. Oh, there's our 100 coins. 
I got some horseshoe on my back. Great. According to my um... Oh, I already heard that. Never mind. Great flamethrower. Good thing he's easy. Thankfully, this water is shallow enough where I don't die. So, seven more. Quick, go behind the waterfall. There's gotta be a secret behind there. Video game physics. Video game law. Huh. Maybe not. <laughs> 